Hi, first grade friends. Welcome back for our last day of week five. And there's a couple things that I want to teach you today. Okay, so the first thing I want to teach you is that readers always go back to reread. We've taught you and taught you and taught you so many things this week about how to go back and reread, how to reread to show characters' feelings, okay? But you also need to remember and to remind you that readers reread to see new details and to learn more about the characters, but they also reread to make their voices smoother. You can reread to smooth out the bumpy parts and to show big feelings in each part. Rereading can help you perform your books. Okay, so this week I taught you how to become the character, change your voice, and also change your voice when there's different emotions. But what about the other stuff in there? Okay, I'm gonna teach you today again also, what are some clues that authors leave readers so they can really truly bring the characters to life and they can really show how to read the book? Because we know that we just don't read like a robot. We don't read monotone, okay? We really, 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 truly read to perform. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and I'm gonna show you what are some clues that the authors give us on how to read the book, okay? And here are our clues right here. Clues that help readers know how to read. Okay, so the first time we read the story, it might be a little monotone. It might be a little bumpy. We might not read with that much expression because it's our first time reading it. But after we read it for once, when we do that rereading, this is the clues we can look at, okay? We can always look at punctuation at the end. Is it a period, exclamation point, or a question mark? We look at the punctuation in the middle, commas for pausing, three periods to pause. We look at that special print. How does the author show us how to emphasize certain words? With bold print, italicized print, or capital. And when we, we definitely learned about those quotation marks in our story, but sometimes the author just doesn't do the quotation marks and then says, said the character. The author might write, shouted the character, or whispered the character. So that's how you know when you reread how the author specifically wants you to read that certain line or that piece of dialogue. And last but not least, the last clue we can look at is the pictures. Sometimes the author leads out in the writing the emotions of the characters. So you're gonna to have to use the pictures to help you. How is that character's feeling? How are their mood? What is the overall picture and setting of that? Okay, so when you practice today, what I want you to do is really, really, really take a piece of reading that you have already read. You probably butchered it a little bit. You probably didn't pay a lot of attention to the punctuation, the punctuation in the middle, the special print, the dialogue, or the pictures. So if you, for your assignment, audio or video records you completely doing everything that we have taught this week, becoming that character, rereading to notice those clues not monotone reading. We want it smooth like butter, okay? So please, for your assignment today, you don't have to read the whole entire book. Choose a couple pages to video record or audio record to send to your teacher. Take everything that I taught you this week into one great recording. I know you can do it, okay? So that's it for our week five of reading. Practice, practice, practice reading, and I want you to send your teacher the best reading that you have read all year long. Have a great time practicing, and we'll see you next week.